so clear. So sit back, relax, and just let us lead you. If you're strolling for the reason, then we don't need you. It's sick and down. He can't be stopped. Riding dirty forever, the home of real hip hop. your boy Vic XL. This is Riding Dirty, the Riding Dirty podcast, Riding Dirty radio show. We bridge the gap between hip-hop and everyday life. I got to start the show by saying one time for our amazing sponsors, one time for the good people over at Dr. Juice Cleanse. Also, guys, we'll say one time for the good people over at WMR Music Group, and I got to say one time for the good people over at Liquor Lollipops. Y'all make sure y'all visit them at their respective websites, find out how they can assist you, um, whether it's through music, whether it's through the great taste of a premium lollipop, or whether it's through cleansing your body. Make sure you visit Dr. Juice Cleanse, Liquor Lollipops, and WMR Research Group. All right, today is Wednesday, December the 4th. The holiday season is upon us, and um, I got to start off by saying happy birthday to some good People. Okay, first I got to say happy birthday to the late, great, fat Pat of the Screwed Up Click. Uh, today will be his 49th birthday. Definitely happy birthday to him and rest in peace. Got to say happy birthday to New York rapper Mr. Master Ace. Master Ace has definitely been doing his thing for years. I mean, he's part of the original Juice Crew. Today is his 53rd birthday, so definitely happy birthday to Master Ace. Also got to say happy birthday to hip-hop icon, entrepreneur, philanthropist, uh, Mr. Jay-Z. Today is Jay-Z's birthday. Jay-Z turns 50 years old today, so definitely, definitely happy birthday to Jay-Z. 50 years old, man. It seemed like, man, just yesterday we was listening to Reasonable Doubt. But definitely happy birthday to Jay-Z. Today is the big 5-0 for Jay-Z. All right. As I continue down my birthday list, I got to say happy birthday to actor Orlando Brown. A lot of you guys might know him. Um, he's been on a lot of shows on Nickelodeon. I mean, he's definitely been doing his thing for years. But definitely happy birthday to Mr. Orlando Brown. And got to say happy birthday to former heavyweight boxer Mr. Shannon Briggs. Oh, Orlando Brown is 32 years old today. Um... Happy birthday to Mr. Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs is 48 years old today. So if you're a fan of the fight game, and you definitely might remember Shannon Briggs. He definitely did his thing in the heavyweight division. So happy birthday to Shannon Briggs. Um, also, got to say happy birthday and rest in peace to rapper Chinks Drugs. Um, happy birthday to Chinks. You know, Chinks was definitely down with Jim Jones. He was down with French Montana. And uh, he definitely... Definitely has some awesome music, and I think he was definitely on his way to major stardom. Also, got to say happy birthday to Texas rapper, also a member of the Screwed Up Click, uh, rapper Big Pokey. Today is his birthday as well. He is 42 years old today, so happy birthday to Big Pokey. And uh, let's see who else we got. Happy birthday to um, rapper Jesse West of the group Third Eye, happy birthday to him. He is 52 years old today, so happy birthday to Jesse West. He's been doing his thing for years, too. If you're definitely East Coast fan, then you know of Jesse West. So happy birthday to everyone I aforementioned celebrating birthdays today. Um, hopefully, they're living their best life, enjoying life to the fullest, and um, just having an all-around awesome day. All right, so today... I gotta let you guys know, today is National Cookie Day, all right? So the way to celebrate National Cookie Day is by indulging in a all-time favorite snack, and that's the cookie. Whether it's cream filled, whether it's chocolate chip, whether it's Oreo, whether it's oatmeal, please indulge, indulge in a cookie today. Enjoy a cookie, whether you're visiting the Great American Cookie Company or any companies, enjoy 
and cookie today. And if you choose to participate on social media, make sure you hashtag yourself indulging in a cookie with National Cookie Day. Also, speaking of Jay-Z, man, I got to say one time for Jay-Z. Jay-Z has returned to Spotify for his 50th birthday. So one time for Jay-Z, you can go check out a lot of his music. He just dropped right back on Spotify today for his 50th birthday. So definitely one time for him. Um, You know, we've been telling you that French Montana had been hospitalized with a mysterious illness. Well, he's back and he's out of the hospital and he just announced his brand new album. So one time for him. I also got to say one time, Lil Nas X keep breaking records. It seems like Lil Nas X... The baby and female rapper Tiara Wack has made the Forbes under 30 list. And that's crazy considering a lot of you guys don't even know of Tiara Wack. But they are on the this year's Forbes 30 under 30 list. So definitely one time for them. Um, man, one time for my man Russ. You know, Russ has been right. He's been definitely, definitely moving up the charts really, really quickly with his latest single. Well, he just announced his Shake the Snow Globe album and tour, all right? So we'll be seeing Russ really, really soon, okay? All right. Now, let me see what else I got going on. And a little celebrity news um, real quick. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, man. One time for John Singleton and his estate, um, you know, there was a situation going on with the death of John Singleton. They was, you know, talking about, how everything would be divided. But it seems like his daughter will get an allowance from his estate. That way she can continue her education. So definitely one time for uh, John Singleton and his estate doing the right thing by making sure his daughter can continue her education. All right. And then last but not least in celebrity and hip hop news, one time my man Action Brunson, you know, he has that show on Vice called Damn, That's Good. Well, you know what? It seems like now he's making art out of ice cream sandwiches. So one time for Mr. Action Bronson, um, definitely, definitely, definitely doing his thing when it comes to the food side of things and keeping it hip hop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I just gave you guys a little hip hop news. I told you today is National Cookie Day, so make sure you go enjoy a cookie. I'll also let you know about celebrity birthdays and our amazing sponsors. Now it's time for me to do what I enjoy doing most, and that's bringing you the word on the street, bring you the people that are definitely out there doing their thing when it comes to arts, culture, entertainment, or just, just right activism. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to welcome to the Ron Dirty Platform, straight out of that Texas, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show, Miss Raya. How you doing today, ma'am? Yo, yo, what's up? I'm doing great. All right, the first, how's it going up there? Uh, it's, it's it's amazing. The weather in the ATL is great. Um, I'm definitely definitely having an awesome day. Um, how are you doing today? And I gotta ask, did I pronounce your name correctly? Raya, yes, you did. Thank you for that. I'm doing good. I'm kind of jealous that, you know, y'all in the South right now. I'm in the East Coast in Pittsburgh, and it's, it's snowing. It's cold out here, but I'm still out here. It's good vibes, and I've been doing great, really. All right, that's, de that's definitely what. So I got to ask, because you're from Houston, Texas, home of the screwed up clique. Yes. What are you doing in Pittsburgh? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I am from Houston, but my mother is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and all her family is from there. So I'm actually out here visiting family right now. All right. So I'm doing a little, I'm writing music and everything out here. All right. So it's definitely got to be a change of pace, but let's talk about Texas. What's it like growing up in Texas and what's it like um, coming up, you know, around all the different styles of music that originate from Texas? Growing up in Texas, hmm. See, um, I recently just started traveling, so I thought growing up in Texas was just, you know, the city life. It's, it's like a city town. It's a big, big place, but at the same time, everybody still know everybody. Like, it's it's crazy how it, how it is out there. I love Texas, man, but you said how was it like? How was it like growing up there? Yeah, what was it like growing up in Texas, 
especially surrounded by all the different styles of music and the dope music that comes from Texas. Yeah, so Texas has a lot of talent. It's a lot of artists. It's a lot of different talent. So that's how I got introduced to music so young, really, because everybody, everybody, well, that's how I got introduced to art, because everybody does something. Everybody either makes music, make beats, dance, rap, like um, everything. And so it's a lot of talent out there and it was like inspiring out there. It's like you got to be doing something. Like everybody is doing something, even even if it's outside of the art. It's like it's a hustle city. Everybody's hustling. Everybody's on the grind. And so it was like it was it was motiv- I was motivated a lot out there. All right, all right. Now, who are some of the influences for you when it comes to making music? Uh, to be honest with you, it was a lot of um, local artists, local artists that influenced me. So I, I have um, a lot of underground friends. Uh, Herson One Four Six. It may be people you never heard about, but you should, you know, whoever's listening, maybe go check them out. Uh, Wink D, Pookie Roo, uh, Pistol Pixie, a lot of underground people. Zygonometry. Um, as far as major influence, people who's like people who's uh, really out there on the scene now, and a lot like they got a lot of fan base. I would say um, my generation is like Zero, Slim Thug. Now we got Megan. Growing up, it was it was uh, growing up really. I listened to a lot of old school music because my parents are old school, and so that's that. Okay, all right. Now, let's talk about you as an artist. When did you decide to uh, become an artist, a rapper, someone who wanted to actually pursue this as a career? I I consider myself more, I don't consider myself a rapper at this point because uh, I do poetry, I I, uh, do spoken word, things like that, but Around around uh, the time I was in high school is when I I recorded my first song in a studio, and I was going to Elsick High School, and I was around a lot of people who was you know just beatboxing on the uh, on the desk tables in class, freestyling all that. So we did it for fun, and that's that's when I first got like really interested in making music. All right, all right. Now, what was that first experience like in the studio? My first experience? Oh, my God. <laughs> it was like a high. Like, I actually experienced, like, a a high off of creating. And it was it was a beautiful experience. It's something I'll remember. I'll always remember that feeling. And it's like it can't like I can't I can't ever get that feeling again because it was my first time feeling that so it's like my first high off of like creating my own music if you get me. No, I definitely I definitely get it. All right, how do you feel about the state of music, especially when it comes to women? Like you know, this is a male dominated industry. So how do you feel? Um, like when you. When you approach being about doing music, do they take you serious? That's a good question. Um, yeah, men do take me serious. It, I get both. I get men who like you need to you need to put a little more sex in. That. I get that, which I don't like. I hate that. I get I get men who really are about business. They about you know you being free, you doing what you do. But I feel like the estate, the state of music for women is just we it need we need more women to really you know women who are artists who are you know serious about their their craft to just keep pushing, keep doing it. Like because it is like you said, it, it is a male dominating field. <laughs> But we gotta just stay true to to the root. Like we're females. We're some of them. Some of us are feminine. Femi- like some of us are feminist. Some of us are more masculine. Just to everybody, be you and don't don't sell out. Cause it is a lot of you know 
like the how the industry is, it's like you got if you're a woman, they just want you to sell sex. Like, no, a lot of women are not even um like <laughs> how do I say? A lot of women are not nat- naturally in these streets are not even feminine. So it's like when they make music, some like most women are being I don't even want to say forced, but it's just like a lot of like you need to do this if you're gonna come up. And so I feel like that's where it is right now. And you just need everybody to be true to who they are, stay on your ground, stick with what you what you do. Right. Okay, okay. I, that's I, how I feel about that. I definitely, definitely get it. Um, how do you feel about the state of music when it comes to like especially hip hop? You got a lot of women now taking the forefront. City Girls, Megan, uh, Nikki's still holding her place. Uh, Cardi B is definitely still doing her thing. You got T.R. Wack, who just made the top... It, she's in the top 30 under 30. Like, how do you feel about, especially the incline of women in hip-hop today? I feel like right now, we on top. We got, we got the throne, and we just gotta use it right, you know, use it correctly. It's a lot of people watching. It's a lot of, like, we have, like, those women you just mentioned, they have the power right now. Like, what you saying, what you doing, it's like it has an effect. It has power to it, you know? So it's just, that's where we are, and we just need to use that in in a beneficial manner, something that's going to benefit everybody, benefit, you know, the greater good. No doubt, definitely, no doubt, no doubt. All right, describe your style to the people. What can people expect when they hear from Raya? Um, interesting. So my style is based based off of my mood. It, it changes. One day I could be on some, you know, like some positive love, love shit or whatever. One day I could be on some trap hustle like how how I wake how I feel when I create that's that's what goes into my music okay what can we do you mean physical style or just in general like how do you want to be embraced when it comes to the fans like what type of journey would they get by listening to your music um it's it's, it's more of a sense of of being free, like not being tied down to a certain con- content, not being, you know, labeled, just about being free and and, and, and evolving, changing, things of that nature. All right, no doubt, no doubt. So tell me a little bit about this record we're going to play called Buzz. I know you got some features on it. Tell me a little bit about the features, who produced it, and what's the concept? Buzz, so Buzz, is that is my latest single. Got the visuals out on all platforms. That is about about doing what you do for for yourself and not, not really riding anybody's wave but yours. And so... That's that is that's about I got my uh I got family on a song with me. My uh my dad has a twin brother and his son is on a song with me. He goes by Wing D and me and him are really close and I have another longtime friend that's from Houston. We are all from Texas on the song, but um Pookie Rue, he's on the second verse. He's from he's from Houston, A Leaf and that's where I grew up. And so we all got, we all three got together over time and we completed the song and it's out. We, it just, we just finished up the visuals uh, this year, a few months ago. And so I do want everybody to go check that out. It's available on YouTube, Apple Music, Google, all platforms. All right. Well, tell people, all right, number one, how has, the internet and social media affected you, especially when it comes to your career and getting your music heard by others? So, to be honest, I'm like, I'm still really low key. Like, I'm as a, like, naturally, I'm a low key person. And 
so I haven't really been using the media as much to get exposure, which I am doing lately, but it's a recent thing that I've been doing. So I'm still kind of like starting up with that. Um, but I do see it working for a lot. You know, I see a lot of people just expanding and expanding through social media and just being consistent with it. And so that's where I'm heading now. All right. I'm let people because know. Because I am cooking up some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you feel like yeah. do you feel like social media can definitely be used to benefit your career as you know, back in the day everyone had to get out and beat the concrete, pass out CDs, hang up posters. Do you feel like social media can definitely help eliminate that middleman? Most definitely. I really do. Um social media is kinda like the middleman, you know. Like you can put something up and in five seconds, like a million, like half a million people can see one thing in five seconds. So most definitely, I do think that, um, I do think that it does, it can affect, you know, the growth and the speed of how you, how you get yourself out there. All right. Well, do me a favor. Tell the people how to find Uh you Tell the people how to find you when it comes to the World Wide Web. Okay, so you can check out my music, like I said, on every platform. You can follow me on Instagram, and my Instagram is underscore humble hippie underscore. And that's hippie with a Y, H I P P Y. Um, anyone that wants to contact me on some business, you can. Email me at Raya Sparks, R Y A S P A R K S, Raya Sparks Music at gmail.com. And yeah, you can check me out on YouTube, uh, Pandora, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, everywhere. All right. Now do me a favor and introduce the song to the world. The song is Buzz, and it's me. Raya and Pookie Roo Wing D on it. All right, appreciate it. Go check me out. Okay, nice talking to you. I've been surfing, boy. Trap top boom, know you heard it, boy. Heard you dropping dimes, is it worth it, boy? Don't get smoked like a blunt in the early morning. Waking bake in your hood with the 30 on me. Steph Curry with the shot, no jersey on me. I'm saucy, saucer, birdie on me. So these niggas don't hate. Fuck it, more beef on my plate. I got some hair from your date. She just a sucker for thugs. Gave her a dose of some drugs. Feel like the doctor, but we are not fucking with scrubs. Keep it 100, I could have been done it if I wasn't showing these niggas no love. Shoot your main shooter, now you need a sub. Falling says all in my cup. Thinking about waking them up. But Ryan say, let them sleep. Cut it with the shits where they better be. Peanut butter jelly ass niggas scared of me. On the cool, I can really see the jealousy. New bitch kill my ex, so she dead to me. 30 clip can't see it in my box of bricks. So it's in my hand. See my hood like a jungle, it's a lion's den. Fuck sleep, try me, then you dying, man. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Long as all my niggas eat.
let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Long hair's all my naked teeth. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Fuck a buzz, let him sleep. Long hair's all my naked teeth. I'm on a motherfucking pill. She ain't in nothing but some heels. I really do this shit for real. Don't want no motherfucking deal. I'm a man that's still my city. Suck a fuck some ass and titties. Snap a picture if she pretty. If it's a show, dub here with me. Niggas quick to hate your shine. Please don't make me lay you down. You don't gotta jam me now, bitch. When I blow, move around. I'm in the camp. I'm on the loop. Don't start no war without no troops. I'm in the streets. I'm in the booth. I bought some shit. I'm waiting to shoot like I'm thick. And with the shit, if I let her ride this dick, she ain't gon' let no nigga hit. Used to move a bunch of bricks, now I'm mulching for the rich. I don't wanna shoot and miss, I gotta do this for my clip, y'all. Fuck a thug, I'm a G. Fuck with bloods, what it be? Fuck with cuz, they fuck with me, I got a buzz. They would sleep, I'm full of drugs. Plus we deep, don't fuck with us, so rest in peace. I need a plug that keep that heat, don't catch no slug behind no beat. All right, one time for the girl Ryan representing that Houston, Texas. It's your boy, Big XL. This is Ryan Dirty Radio, and we'll be back in about 20 minutes with an episode of The Duel, the daily song battle. It's your boy, Big XL. This is Ryan Dirty Radio, and um, y'all stay tuned. Doses.